still on Highway 16. You can see the smoke, y'all. We've driven in it, we've driven out of it a little bit down the road. Now we're driving back into it. There was a crater crossing up here, so I'm not sure what it was. Hopefully it was a single low. It was scooting pretty good. So. It looks like a deer. Yeah. Caribou. 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 It's getting smoky here. We're still on Highway 16. We haven't quite made it halfway to our destination. First destination to see how we're, I mean, we're so far ahead this morning. It's like, I don't, I'm not even sure why we're really stopping. But we are because we're gluttons for money. Continue on towards Jasper. 
try our second and third choices, which 10 miles is not very far. We're probably going to continue on to Lucerne. kilometers to Jasper. Snafu. Uh, apparently Jasper is on fire. The Jasper National Park, Jasper, the town of Jasper, I think they said was evacuated. How much of this is, I don't know, but anyway, the road from Lucerne Campground to Jasper is closed and the Icefields Parkway is closed. And we're not going to wait it out because last time we waited, we thought we'd wait on a wildfire and it ended up being a like a 10 day shutdown, so we're not gonna wait that long. We're gonna head, we're gonna backtrack and head south on, I think it's Highway 5. To the head, head down to, <laughs> to Valmont and Kamloops. It's gonna add about five hours to our day um, if we take that route, or if we go the whole, if we go all the way to Radio Hot Springs today. But, yeah, there's little wildfires all along down, all along through here. Had a thunderstorm last night. Pretty big. I figured the lightning from the thunderstorm started that one last night. But seven hours ago, they, I think they, might have been a little more than that. They evacuated. Whether or not it's going to open back up today, I don't know. Not going to wait and find out. We 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 go down. We go through two national parks on the route we've chose to go today so uh it'll just be a longer drive anyway we did the icefields parkway south to the north in the winter we've seen the athabasca glacier we were looking forward to stopping at the visitor center but hey you know the, the, the neat thing about nomad living is you gotta go with the flow Plan, plans change on a dime so here we go, y'all. We won't probably, we probably won't turn this back on until we get gas in Belmont, unless something jumps out in front of us. So we'll see y'all down the road. Bye. We are headed south on Trans Canada Highway 5. I think it's Trans, I don't know. Anyway, it's Highway 5. We are now on our detour route. We're taking a, we're, this is new territory for me and Mrs. C in Canada. Not expected, not planned, but hey, you know, plans are, plans change. Yeah, plans change on a dime. It's all good. We're going to stop up here in Bailmont, fill up, and continue on from there to Camp Loops. See what we find. We're going, to, we're, we're going to push it today. If I'm feeling good enough, we're going to push it on to Radium Hot Springs. If not, then we'll stop somewhere along the way. Anyway, y'all come on. Let's go see what we can see. Welcome to Belmont. These are all evacuees, y'all. All right, we're gonna stop for gas. We'll see y'all in a few. We have left Belmont. We're fueled up, headed to Camp Loops. My goodness, Belmont is wall-to-wall -wall evacuees. This is the second big fire that we've been involved in. The first one threw our plans off a week. This one's only gonna throw us off about five hours, but still, it's crazy. Like, like Mrs. C said, I mean, it's it's just crazy. I mean, people have nowhere to go, so they've got what they've got. They're in the parking lots and they're doing what they have to do. I mean, it's okay. We we don't judge. <laughs> we're, we're those people. We don't judge. So. I'm pretty impressed by just society. Lots and lots of traffic. Here they 
come zoom zooming by. Hang on, y'all. Anyway, oh, 
y'all. That was a conversation that we had. It may or may not be on here. I don't know. It probably will be. Anyway, we're taking a shortcut through from what town were we in? I don't remember. Anyway, cross, cutting across Agate Bay Road from 5 to 1 and then over to Revelstoke. We got a campground. According to, according to the Apple Map Gonculator, it says we'll be there about 2.30. So we'll see how that works out. We got three of them. Three campgrounds we're looking at. Mrs. C's got two, and if one of hers is better than this one, that's great. And that's where we, we're still good. When we pass the one I've got and hers is next, we may just keep on rolling. I have the first one, you have the second one, and I have the third one. Oh. Okay, y'all, you heard. I stand corrected again. And there's people standing in the road down here. Probably going to tell us we can't go this way. standing here sightseeing. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, they're neighbors. They're talking. <coughs> How precious. Anyway, we're going to throw this on to Time Warp and let y'all enjoy some of this drive. Hopefully it's a more scenic than what we were going to take.
Hey y'all, I'm back. Our super, my super navigator, our super navigator has just saved us an hour. I guess we did have to traverse 12, 17 miles down a dirt road, which was awesome. It was a very beautiful dirt road, I ain't gonna lie. But she saved us an hour. Now we're back on Trans-Canada Highway 1 East, headed towards, I don't know where the hill we're headed towards, but Golden. we're going towards Golden. But with our first stop being in Revelstoke, or somewhere around Revelstoke or something, I don't know. 64 miles to my camp. trouble will go y'all she made me slow down y'all were in time warp so it may have been literally serious time warp and she got on to me I was going too fast she made me slow down of course the sign says safe speeds were 60 and I'm clicking along at 90 Driving through Salmon Arm on the Highway 1? Yes. Alaska Highway, or not Alaska Highway, Canada Highway 1. Trans, Trans Canada Highway 1. Yeah, there we go. We'll get it right here in a minute. That's you. Woohoo!
first stop. Our first stop. Hopefully last. <laughs> for today. And if not, we're gonna I'm gonna have to roll on probably to Colton, which is another hundred kilometers down the road. Oh we'll find some. Huh? We'll find some. Mrs. C says we'll find something. We'll have to get out of the national park first, but we'll find something. I think the national park ends at Golden, so we'll probably find something at Golden, y'all. Hopefully she's right about this one. That my optimistic wife, hopefully she is right about finding a campground here. I can't remember the name of the camp camp place that is on the phone. empty is because apparently the other people felt the same way. Yeah, I'm not going to pay $45 for to sleep somewhere overnight. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? But we had a sight. You did. <laughs> I'm not upset. We can keep driving. Yep. We'll get out of the park. We need to do a lot of service. We need to find out how far the park goes. Heading south, y'all, on Highway 95. Left Golden. We're in the midst of a dang smoke cloud. In half a mile, turn right onto 10th Avenue North. Hopefully we're gonna drive out of this. No, we're not turning right. But Mom says we are. No. Leaving the Quinn Creek RV park area, whatever you want to call it. And if you come this way, please stop by this one. It is adorable. The four dollar signs on. I don't know what what app she looked at yesterday. Mr. C was looking at the apps. Campendium. Campendium. The four dollar sign is BS. It's not expensive. It's like twenty bucks a night. For, I mean, it's the dry camping, but you still have showers and water and everything that goes along with it. So, anyway. And that's for dry camping. Yeah, so it's not, 
it's not a dollar 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 sign it's like it's cheap anyway we are headed to radium hot springs we'll fuel up there that'll probably be our last fuel stop in canada About 37 miles continue straight anyway we'll see y'all from the other side <laughs> mrs c says from the other side we'll give y'all a little time more packs and then we're gonna call it oh do we need to stop yeah. okay all right y'all well that would have been a convenient hug anyway bye y'all goodbye Back to Radium Hot Springs. Slow your roll, save the sheep. There are sheep in the roads here. We're gonna go ahead and record going through Radium Hot Springs. See if we can see them today. Last time it took us a while to get through Radium because we had to stop for all the sheep. Yep. They definitely own the roads here. Yes. Just like with all wild animals, do not honk. They oh, will no. uh, horn you or ram, ram, ram your truck. Ram ram your, yes, they'll ram your vehicle. We're coming up to the ever popular roundabout that we got lost in twice. <laughs> or got I don't know how we did it, but we missed the exit twice last time. We were talking both times. Yeah. Not really. We were too excited about the sheep. At the next stop sign. We Even took, though we heard that that time too, we still didn't manage to figure it out. The first time we took the first exit, and then the second time we went to, oh, we were looking at the little horns, the... Oh, yeah, the, the artwork in the 500 center. meters. Yeah, at the roundabout, take the second exit. But we ended up taking the third exit. First time we took the first exit, second time we took the third exit. Yeah, we ended up out there somewhere. It's pretty. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. <laughs> put such cool stuff in the middle of a roundabout. Exactly. My thoughts exactly. Radium is a beautiful town. It is. Is that not gorgeous? Now, let's see if we can do this right this time. Through the roundabout. Wait for the log truck. And we're going this, this way. This way. Yay. Hey, we did it. First time. Excellent. made it through Radium Hot Springs, we made it through Ivern Mirror, Infer Mirror, something like that. We made it through Canal Flats. I'm not sure if there is another between here, Cranbrook, yep, we gotta go through Cranbrook. Once we go through Cranbrook, it'll be nothing, I think Cranbrook's in like seven and a half miles, you know, 93, and takes us to the border. I don't know how long, I can't remember how far the border is past Cranbrook, but it's not super, super far. But we're about 100 miles from Bonner's Ferry right now, roughly. We're almost, we're almost parking up here. I'm getting fidgety over there. Hey, that's the Yak Bridge, y'all. Maybe it's Yak, I don't know. We're in Yak, 10 miles from something, 9.5 now. Just thought I'd <laughs> pop in here and throw in a Yak update. It's worth three and 95 merge. This is see, it's where it says it's worth three and 95 merge, so we're getting close. Ice cream places running. We are not. <laughs> we're, not we're not getting ice cream. <laughs> we have both suffered from the ice cream the last couple of days. I'm done for ice cream. I'm going to skip the ice cream for a few days. <laughs> we're, going, we're going to Bonner's Ferry. <laughs> we're 
we're gonna we're gonna be there soon. There's a litter barrel ahead. There's a 50 kilometer was a can kayak watercraft station. One kilometer all watercraft report. What is? We're going straight. Mandatory yeah. inspection ahead. We're fine. Oh, this road. excellent trip and this is the final entry on this adventure thank y'all for coming along and we will see you somewhere somewhere down the road there won't be any recording for a while we're going to shut this baby off and i'm going to shut my mouth we've had it done you got anything <laughs> mrs c before we go uh, glad to be back in the lower 48 glad to be back it was a heck of a, a whirlwind journey through uh, through canada Thank y'all and we will see you later.